Okay, so here we're going to go over how I got my Vendas rooted, how I was getting these rooted. When I first received these from my vendor, all I got was this stalk and there were no roots on it at all, whatsoever. But there might have been a tiny little nub sticking out, like something like this. But mostly there was just nothing, it was just a bare empty stalk on all of these. All these you see here in the background, all the same, just like that, a whole pile of them. Uh, so the vendor gives them to me like that. And then I made these bottles. Here you can see there's different types of them. Cut a smallish hole in the top so it'll fit down in here. And by the time it got to where the roots just barely go in and out, that's when I stopped this process. But what we're doing here is filling it with rocks mainly first of all to uh, give a wicking situation for the water to vaporize inside here and create high humidity around this part of the stalk of the plant. Because these are harvested top cut off of a larger, much larger plant that has lots of roots down here. So they top cut it and this part here may have been cut for a week or more before I get it from my vendor. So we're not sure if it's going to absorb any water or much of anything and be useful, but I will put it down in I will fill this with water just enough to barely cover the tip of the plant, that cut tip, maybe one fourth, one half inch. And then I will take, uh, I'm gonna, what I used was coconut fiber to close the top, seal off the top. And you could use anything for that. You could use uh, even just a piece of rags, a piece of cloth to co help close off the top, but still give it a breathe, uh, breathing room. So here's my coconut fiber. So I will just take this and wrap it around the top just to close this off so it will lock that water vapor inside there. Like that. Okay. Something like that. So, you, like I said, you could use a piece of cloth for this. So, lock that in there. There, like that. And so, it depends a lot on your environment. Where you have this, what's your temperature, what's your humidity, your ambient humidity. Now, I'm lucky here, my ambient humidity is like 80%. And my Daytime temperature fluctuates between 65 and 85. So it's always warm and it's always humid. And so this just helps it lock in a little bit of humid, uh, extra humidity inside here to help promote uh, root growth on that stalk. Uh, I also put these in the shade for half the day so they didn't get any sunshine um, until maybe 12.30, 1 p.m. And at that time, it, they were underneath trees, so they only got dappled um, sunshine on them. So it's shaded all day long, uh, dappled shade in the afternoons, and breezy conditions because they're outside. Uh, if you lived in a place where you needed more humidity and more uh, warmth, I would put a heat mat, electric heat mat, underneath it, and that would help. So I filled it with water just up to the tip there and I left it in there for weeks and then the root growth started out right away and as you can see by some of these you know they've they've grown quite a bit so you've got these lengthy roots growing here they've responded real well to this almost all of them there's only a couple that I'm really having trouble with so I got like a you know, really high percentage of response to this method. Um, real happy with it. They look real healthy. They're doing really well. They're really ready for me to hang uh, outdoors now. Uh, 
They're not going to get full sun most of the day, but they're going to get much stronger light than what I've give, been giving them. So that's how that worked, and it worked very well. Uh, I think they had, I had them in here maybe six weeks, two months, something like that, before they start getting uh, large enough roots, long enough root growth like this one that you saw, where it would just barely go in and outside of the bottle top that I have here. So when they got to this size, this length here, where I couldn't hardly get them in and out, then it's that, and I deemed that was time enough to uh, end this process and take them out and hang them in a spot where they're shaded all day long, dappled shade all day long, and I just would uh, uh, spray them, water them twice a day. So that would uh, still promote their root growth. Really good feeding twice a day. Good water, healthy watering, so they're getting watered like 10 or 15 minutes of uh, sprinkling or spraying water constantly twice a day. And that's kept them growing real well. Okay, that's it for that one.